Good morning. Hope you guys are having a fabulous morning. Just, you know, rocking your journaling time, your prayer time, your reflective time. Just really getting into sync with your whole mind, body, soul, spirit experience of life, right? This, I am Kelly Frick of Kelly Frick Connect, and I'm going to talk to you today about locations to apply oils and why. Um, so did you know that there are specific spots where you can apply your oils for physical and emotional support? Besides the obvious of um, I have a sore thigh or I have some neck tension and I'm going to rub it right there, right? Um, today I'm going to share with you seven locations and why they're really good and how they're going to address emotional as well as physical um, support. Because remember, when we're addressing our emotional support, uh, our emotional health, we are actually minimizing or eliminating chronic physical illness. Because chronic uh, physical illnesses are captured um, emotions in our body. And there's tons of science, tons of, of research out there that supports this, all right? So let's dive into um, applying our oils and why the location. So first, the elbow crease. So right here, big old vein. Some of you have smaller veins. I happen to have a vein that technicians really like. So when you apply an oil, good morning. <laughs> so very cool to see you, Miss Jill. How are you doing? Um, but when you apply the oil um, and the increase of the, the crease of your elbow, you're quickly, you're allowing the support that you're wanting from that oil to enter into your lungs and into your heart, and it releases sadness and grief for the quickest relief. Um, and remember that when a person has heart conditions or lung conditions, that's something chronic, right? So what could be the underlying emotion that is um, that hasn't been released, that hasn't been worked through? Um, then inside the forearm, all right, we're talking from the crease all the way down to the wrist. This will create an instant emotional change. And what's what's interesting is so um, essential oils, um, highly concentrated therapeutic oils like doTERRA's, um, they, um, the science shows that within 60 seconds it will enter into your bloodstream, um, whether you're putting it on the bottom of your feet, on your thigh for sore muscles, blah, blah, blah. But when you put it on the forearm, it releases within your system even quicker. <clears throat> so if you're needing a shift in your mindset, if you're feeling like super depressed, super melancholic, super um, just anything, just weighed down, um, putting it down your, your forearms um, will, will help support that instant um, relief and release of the emotions. Um, so back of our neck and our spine, okay, <clears throat> this helps with mental clarity. It's a quick way for the oils to enter into the brain right there on the, the um, spinal, um, spinal tap or whatever, no, spinal tap's down the bottom, on your spine right there. <laughs> um, your heart for disappointment, for hurt. Um, you know, your heart's just breaking for one of your children or for a situation that's going on. You know, taking lavender and console or forgive even and just putting it over your heart and just really feeling that oil um, help penetrate and support your emotional health is super, super helpful. See, Jill puts any oils that we typically shouldn't put on our skin. Um, Let's see, so any of the hot oils, um, all oils use them uh, with um, a fractionated coconut oil, a carrier oil, um, because even if an oil is safe for neat use, <clears throat> what's super cool, um, a kind of a geeky thing, um, side stepping for a second, is that when you put a drop of oil neat in your hand, 50% of its effectiveness will evaporate, whereas you have it already capsulated with fractionated coconut oil and then you're able to spread it further um, and you're going to be able to also um, um, have it to where it, it holds on to all of its therapeutic properties even longer and better and penetrate into your system better. Um, so as far as oils, oil, oils that are um, usually listed as 
hot oils. Um, definitely want to never use the neat. Um, so oils like cinnamon, clove, peppermint, um, things like that. So peppermint can actually consider, be considered a hot oil because it's so cool and soothing. Um, so it's not so much that you can't use them on your skin. Each of our skins are unique and different. So some people are more sensitive than other. So as I get through the list of applying oils and why, why there's also the bottom of the feet, which is for calming and grounding. Um, but the bottom of the feet also is, if you're not quite sure where you should apply the oil, the bottom of the feet is the safest because there's so much skin there, it will draw up into your um, system and address issues that you need to be able to have. You are most welcome. Um, so let's see, we just talked about the back of the neck and the spine, we talked about the heart, the belly button. So let's talk about the belly button, all right? It is for protection, for boundaries. It increases our immune system. So think about that. Um, Ayurvedic medicine, you know, Eastern medicine, talks about how our belly, our gut, is, um, they actually consider our gut as um, their, our primary brain because there's such a connection, right? So when we're struggling with boundaries and making sure that we are taking care of ourselves, our immune system can be hitting a dive. So first thing in the morning, putting in oils that are good protective oils and boundary um, oils around your belly, not only is gonna help support your gut health, but also is gonna support your spiritual health and boundaries. We talked about the feet, how feet are for grounding and calmness. Um, and then the midline of the belly, so up and down, right? Midline of the belly. It's for self-confidence, for self-worth. The belly has um, our, our serotonin receptors, um, and we will feel a shift with our self-worth immediately. So just like we need a shift, when we need an immediate shift of our emotions going down our forearm, when we need a shift of when we are comparing ourselves, being ugly about ourselves, when we are just not being loving to ourselves as God asks us to, putting an oil down your midline will give you that, that immediate shift. So that is the seven locations to apply oils and why. Hope you guys find that helpful. Practice with it, play with it, toy with it. You know, when, um, remember there's, all the oils have different emotional um, uh, components to them. So when you're needing to feel that abundance, of, of life, right? Wild orange is great for that. When you're needing to find self-worth in, in, in yourself, in everything that you do and reminding yourself how beautifully and wonderfully you are, um, grapefruit or slim and sassy are great for that. And if you have any questions about the oils, if you need direction with the oils, um, please feel free to comment below, private message me. Um, I love being able to serve and support and bless all of you. So you have a beautiful and blessed day. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. God bless.